Adding exterior insulation to the roof and walls of an old house can improve comfort and energy efficiency. It especially makes sense if the rafter cavities are already insulated and it's most affordable when the roof and siding need replacement. The first order of business is to strip the roof and walls. Next, cut off the rafter tails so that the connection between the roof and walls can be sealed with peel and stick membrane. Install two layers of foam to the roof, staggering the seams and offsetting the joints. Tape the seams on the outer layer. New roof sheathing goes on top, screwed into the framing an inch and a half. Cover the roof deck with roofing underlayment that will protect against liquid water, but also allow vapor to escape. At the bottom of the wall, a piece of coil stock is bent into a J-channel to keep the bugs out. The metal is tucked behind the house wrap and two layers of insulation go on the walls with the outer layer seams taped for an air seal. Attach a strip of bug screen to the bottom of the wall uh, to keep the ventilation channels clear. At the corners, weave the foam panels together to disrupt any clear air path between inside and out. Corners are then wrapped with peel and stick to keep them tight. Furring strips are screwed into the foam an inch and a half into the framing. Box out a soffit at the top of the wall and tie it all together with fascia. Install the siding, making sure to detail the bug screen tightly at the bottom of the wall. Continuous insulation and multiple layers of air sealing turn a leaky old house into a 21st century home. Thank you.